Well, here goes another video. I'm going to show you, try to explain all the things that I did wrong in that last last half of this log. As you can see, I got I've cleaned up over there. I got the slab wood from the second saw. That was one of the mistakes I did. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I've cleaned up here. Got all my slab wood. I'm getting a big pile down the end. Well, we'll go show you. Heck, we'll just grab the whole thing. This stuff adds up really quick really quick and it's just it's just firewood so it really doesn't make any difference it'll go in go in those crates that I've showed in other movies sun's going down <laughs> it's only it's not that late I think it's uh, two or three o'clock I got no idea what time it is I think three o'clock anyhow I'm gonna go over and show you a couple of things that I did wrong and why I did some of the things I took my first cut and I took it too deep. That was a stupid mistake. I should have taken it and seen where my face was, but I took it too deep. On these old mills, these logs don't like to go back. They'll come forward, but they just they just don't like to go back at all. On Mark's, he's just grabbing top and bottom, and he can probably pull it back, the whole log, if he wanted to. This one's just grabbing on the top, so it's all it wants to do when you don't have a flat on the bottom is roll. So you can only on dog it, push it back in, come out and get your slice. So that was one one of the mistakes I did. That's what you saw me do seeing me saw me doing in the beginning of that thing, is trying to get back so I didn't lose so much face. Um, and then on another one I didn't cut it deep enough and I had to take a thin slab. So that was a wasted cut, wasted time, wasted everything. I know better I should take heavier slabs, but sometimes you don't. You don't know exactly what you're gonna get into the log until you open it up where like here okay at 14 I'm sitting at 14 and a half inches I got a good six inch face but if you go to the back back here at 14 and a half inches I, I have a crappy face so I'm gonna take that at 14 and a half so hopefully it'll come out with enough at the end these boards get cut down to about 60 inches and they're running I think 90, 90 inches now whatever half of 15 is um, that was one mistake another mistake I did or I don't know if it's a mistake when when you cut in this way you want the tops to be even so when you start cutting down um, You're gonna get I don't know how to explain it, but you, you want this side of your double D you're making a double D Here is a D here is a D You want the both sides of your double D Equal at the top and when I flip that one around the one in the back was a lot lower than the one on the front so then I reflipped it down and reflipped it back up to slice it off. So then they'd be equal. That's why I did that. Another thing that I did, I don't usually like cutting boards that are this short because the distance from my from my spot here to there is eight foot, and these are seven and a half. If they're where they're at now, they'd fall off. And you saw me having to pick the board up and carry it back. And the mistake I made was not building my plank out there to put the board on so I don't have to pick them up. In other words, it comes off here, I can slide it here, set it there, and then I just slide the other end in. Most of the time, I built, I built a deck here. So that's, that was a, another mistake that I did that I just, I don't know, you don't saw for two or three days and it ain't like a bicycle, you got to get you got to think about it. You got to really keep your mind on the game, and I guess my mind really isn't on the game that much. I'm gonna take. That's a pile of woodpecker in the background. He was up there. He was probably sawing more wood than I did. He was. Uh, I can hear him. I kind of like those guys. I think they're pretty neat. Woody Woodpecker is a pile of woodpecker. Anyhow, so I'll, I'll take a a couple quick quick blows off of this one but that was there were three or four mistakes that I didn't like what I did on that last one and uh, the one was not getting the, the D's equal the other one was cutting and not taking a deep enough slab then I took another cut that wasn't deep enough which you don't know until you get into that so that was kind of a halfway mistake so that's, that's where I'm at I'm gonna start it up and, and get it going again take a couple slices I, I'm not gonna have this a real real long one we're already at five minutes so put your ears on or silencers on or whatever you put on.
gonna try to explain. Oh, we're already up to 15. I'm gonna try to explain what I did. When I had the, the double D's down to the six inches that I wanted, boom, boom, came in this side until I got to six, came into this side until I got six. But what I did is when I flipped it around, I saw my width. So I got basically a full D right now. I cut it off. Now I knew I wanted to go to six inches in here. So I wanted to go six. <clears throat> I wanted to look where my best set was. So six, and I'm cutting it an inch. So I wanted to go to seven and a quarter, eight and a half, nine and three quarters. And I think I could only get two boards. So I went to the six and a quarter, seven and a half area, seven and a quarter, eight area. Because it really doesn't matter what these are. They're just wood boxes. It's not that critical. But that's how, I, that's how I determined where, once I came in from the other side, where my first cut was going to be on to where I needed it to get to my six inch, I guess, can into the inside. And the same thing with this thing. I sawed it down. I know that I'm going to have to go one inch, two and a quarter, three and a half. So I want to come out here. My first set's going to be at about three and a half to do my first cut, and then I'll get three boards out of it and have a little waste. Anyhow, that's that's it. I gotta do more cleanup again. Um, just the way it is. Over and out on this one.